I remember the first time ever looking back in the wake of my ship and seeing all those, the whiteness and the foam, I said, that's white because it all consists of bubbles. I said, how many bubbles am I looking at? I said, fine, I'm looking at fantastic numbers of bubbles. It comes in this way. Look, look, look at all this whiteness, all those bubbles. Beautiful, beautiful bubbles, every one of them. I said, now, I've been taught in school, in order to be able to design, because the bubble is a sphere, you have to use pi. And the number pi, three, one, four, one, six, on and on goes the number. We find that it, it cannot be resolved, called transcendental irrational. So I said, every time nature is making one of those bubbles, how many places do you carry out pi before she discovers you can't be, resolve it? And at what point does nature decide to make a fake bubble? I said, I don't think nature's sitting out in any fake bubbles. I think that nature's not using five. This may be start looking for ways of, of, in which nature did contrive all of her, of her menstruation, her spontaneous association without using such numbers. And I, I'm quite confident I really have found her coordinate system, which she doesn't have any irrationals whatsoever. Because in the chemistry, if I'm associating H2O, not H pi L. Always whole rational low order numbers, all of associating and associating. I'm not trying to imitate nature, I'm trying to find the principles she's using. Very, very strong intention, and there are these beautiful little pneumatic bulbs to give, make it float just exactly at the right depth in the, in the ocean, and to just exactly the right depth for her to prosper and do whatever it has to do. I get down to the details of this, look at it like a plastic, and all those little mass, mass attractions, the curls that go on there. Nature's formulations are just, to me, absolutely, unbelievably magnificent.